Hi everybody, Dr. Pingle here with a quick lesson on how to bring your uh, OpenStreetMap data into ArcGIS. Uh, this turns out to be pretty easy if you've already um, used uh, JOSM uh, to export uh, as a, or overpass Turbo to export your data as a JSON, and then used Ogre um, to do the conversion. Uh, so we showed you how to do that in the last video. Uh, in this video, um, what we want to do is bring that data in. So if you've already done the conversion, uh, it's literally drag and drop. Uh, so uh, we have a shape file that we've made. Uh, in this case, these were hotels around the Chicago area. Uh, we've converted it using Ogre uh, to a shape file. And that shape file is like any other shape file. You should be able to load it up uh, and bring it in straight away. Uh, I've added a little um, background uh, here. Uh, in this case, this is a base map uh, that I've added. Uh, this is the dark gray canvas. Uh, and I'm just going to zoom in on the data that I made here. Uh, so once this tiles in, these are all of the hotels that were in OpenStreetMap and appropriately tagged, uh, rendered uh, in ArcGIS. So this, that's literally all it takes uh, for this part of the assignment. However, uh, what I would encourage you to do is to take a minute and try to use um, the other tools that are available. Uh, so uh, there are a number of uh, conversion tools that are uh, available in Arc. In this case, what we want to do is a JSON to features. Uh, we're going to use our input uh, JSON file uh, as hotels2.json. This is the, the good one that we got uh, off of Overpass Turbo. Uh, and we're going to save these output features. In this case, we'll just save them to a temp directory uh, hotels. Uh, in fact, what we'll do is we'll go to the desktop and then we're going to create a new folder. And we'll put them in here. Okay. We'll hit OK. Uh, it's going to do the conversion. Uh, in this case, it didn't work. Uh, so we get some information here. Uh, output feature class is empty. Uh, this is not particularly surprising. Um, one of the reasons why I prefer using Ogre uh, to some of the tools is that uh, is that a lot of the tools that you're using here may not work. So in this case, let's go back uh, and take a look at the data that we got from Overpass. Uh, now, originally we had downloaded this as a GeoJSON. We've got a number of different formats here. Uh, and just because ARC had trouble reading one doesn't mean it's going to have trouble reading them all. So we're going to download this data as a KML. So these are going to be hotels.kml. So those are already in. Uh, in this case, we're going to use a KML-based tool. So from KML, our input KML is going to be the hotels.kml that we just downloaded. Uh, we're going to save this again to the desktop. Call it hotels2.shape. Oops, this is just the location. Hold on. Common problem in ArcGIS. So go back here, select this, and add the folder. Uh, and then the output data name, we'll call it hotels2.shape. We'll hit OK. Uh, we'll try the conversion again, and we'll see if it works. So usually these don't take too long. Uh, we had much better luck with the KML conversion tool. You can see that we're getting um, these nice, uh, lovely push pins uh, as markers. You can customize those to look like whatever you want. But you can also see that the titles have read in um, correctly. So we've got Hampton Inns and Holiday Inns and so on. So uh, don't be discouraged. Getting data in and out uh, of OSM uh, is usually pretty straightforward, but like anything uh, in the GIS world, if you hit a couple of hiccups, don't give up. Um, try a different way uh, of making that conversion happen, uh, and sooner or later you're going to hit something that works. Um, with that, we'll, we'll wrap things up for this lesson. Thanks for listening, and we'll catch you next time.